What's the vibe the last couple of weeks? Uh, just, just the whole team mode and everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously feel great after back-to-back -back wins. Um, but just super proud of these guys. I mean, we haven't lost faith one time and just continue to come to work every single day. And um, just super proud of this team. Uh, you know, it's it's been a wild year and just super proud to just continue to fight every single week. Describe those three touchdown passes, the highlight reel catch by Brown in the end zone, the pull it past the burning storm, and the one to sack. There's three different ways to get it in the end zone, just really kept the momentum going for the offensive side. Yeah, um, you know, I think we knew kind of coming into it, we were going to have to, you know, take advantage of kind of red zone, red zone offense uh, and throwing the ball. Um, but we did a great job. I loved our game plan going into it. And, um, you know, we just executed more than anything. I was, I was really proud of them. And, um, super, super proud of those receivers. I mean, they just made plays more than anybody, more, more than anything. Um, just got up there and made plays, and just super proud of them. Okay, what do you think of watching this group? How Shipley adding him back, getting him back, just help the offense just really get get clicking, get moving as the day went on. Yeah, uh, you know, we've got the two best running backs in the country. We're not continuing to say that. I mean, every time they get the ball, it's like they're doing something good. So just super proud of them. Um, it's fun to have Shipley back out there. You know, I feel like, I feel like it's been so long since he's been back. Back there with me, but I know it hasn't really been too long. But just so fun to have him back there, and the leader that he is. Um, just it's awesome. Cade, walk us through the touchdown to Tyler Brown. Yeah, uh, we kind of had a little stutter, stutter slant. Tyler was really just kind of a decoy, uh, stutter slant by Bo, and they end up covering it. Didn't really bite anything, so just kind of had to make a play. Um, and then he he did a great job on scramble drill. You know, he wasn't that wasn't really even his route. Um, just kind of made a play and just kind of kept rolling, went in the end zone and. Uh, just kind of gave him a chance to catch the ball. How about the play before that, or a few plays before that, the flea flicker to Moffa that you threw? Can you go through that? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a flea flicker trying to get Jake on the wheel, and they just pretty much dropped deep quarters. Um, they just pretty much everybody fluffed out of there. Uh, they covered it really well. They didn't bite on anything. Just kind of just pitch it down to Moffa as a check down. And that touchdown to Jake, really impressive throw. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I walked us through that touchdown too. Yeah, uh, you know, we had both outside guys on fades, uh, just kind of a man answer if they went post safety in the middle uh, as well. Um, and then, you know, we kind of brought them in motion, they went zone. Um, and it was just, it was honestly a great scheme more than anything. Just great, great planning by our coaches and Coach Riley, um, just kind of knowing what they were going to do and just kind of had, had to get it to them before the boundary safety could trail over. So it was good. Could you feel the energy pregame, you know, uh, wearing the purple Veterans Day? Um, could you feel that a little bit? Yeah, for sure. It was it was awesome. You know, I think that, you know, especially coming off last week, just continue to build momentum. You know, we're not leaning on last week's game, but it's continually uh, just giving us momentum every single week. But, um, you know, it, it was awesome pregame. Just felt like there was a lot of energy. Cade, zero negative questions so far. So is it nice to have uh, an interview <laughs> like this where you don't have to, to answer for a bunch of uh, maybe problems? I mean, yeah. Um, you know, I think it's always fun to talk about positive things, especially after a win. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. How much fun for you is it to be able to stand on the sideline and watch your teammates? Yeah, I mean, I, I told Hunter uh, my main goal coming in the game was, you know, I want to get him in. Um, I want to get him in the game. Um, I mean, he, I mean, I've never been so excited uh, in my whole life than after he ran that one uh, long run. Uh, I mean, I was just, if you all see the clip, you'll you'll probably find me running down the sideline without my helmet screaming my head off. Uh, so I was just so excited for him. Um, and then, you know, he had, he had a great throw to Olsen. Um, you know, I didn't the, the pass interference call. I didn't think it was a great call, but um, on Adam. But you know, he's just trying to spot down the guy. Kind of ran into him, but you know, it was a great play. And he's just kind of a guy that continually um, for four years has just come to work, and um, just super proud of him. Uh, you know, for him to have the opportunity like that and just continually just coming to work. What was it like to see your team finish these rounds with touchdowns? That's been a point of as well. You did so well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was awesome. Um, you know, touchdowns touchdowns are big, and uh, just more than anything, just finishing in the red zone. You know, I mean, I feel like most of our touchdowns were getting to the getting to the red zone, and um, just take advantage of those, and you know, not not letting up, not not pressing at all, just staying calm, and um, just leaning on our fundamentals when we get down there. It was awesome. Both sides of the ball did today feel about as dominant as you guys have been all year? Uh, I would say the most consistent we've been more than anything. You know, I think we were definitely dominant, especially in the running game and the passing game. 
Um, but I feel like that was our our best full game um, of four quarters. I think we had a, we had an incredible good first half last week and third quarter last week, um, but we didn't quite finish the way we wanted in the fourth quarter. Um, I mean, obviously we still got the win, so that was really good. But just as as four quarters as a whole of a game. Um, just you know, I feel like that was it was awesome. And as you're on the sidelines watching the defense make play after play <laughs> after play, what do you think of watching the D? Yeah, I mean they're they're unreal. Uh, it's unreal. Um, and just super proud of those guys. I mean, it's <laughs> four interceptions by freshmen is is pretty crazy. Um, so you know, one thing I'd say is, um, you know, people are too, people might be counting us off this year, and it's not the year that we've wanted. Um, but you look at you look at the team that we have right now; it's very young. We have a lot of freshmen, sophomores. Um, they're coming back, offense and defensively. So, you know, it's just it's, we're just learning. Uh, it's just guys learning and um, just continually getting getting better every single week. And just you know, it's gonna be the best thing for us. And how important the number of guys that contributed today? Six touchdowns, all from different players. Yeah. Four different guys caught touchdowns. Just everybody got involved. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, I mean, it's, it's hard on a defense to, to spread the ball like that, um, you know, where you can really throw it all over the field. Uh, that's, that's really hard on a defense because, you know, you don't have, you know, one guy, you don't have one good receiver and then three bad receivers. You know, we've got really every time we, I'm out there, we got four great guys out there that, that can make plays. Um, and I think that's hard on a defense where you can't kind of overload one side or anything like that. So just really proud of that. Um, you know, it was, it was awesome. What did you see on Tyler's catch for the touchdown? Yeah, uh, you know, he, one of the best catches I've ever seen. Just kind of, guy was just on his hip and just kind of, you know, just kind of give him a chance to catch the ball more than anything. Um, and he kind of had a little bit of a step on him and just kind of floating it up there and he made a great play. I know you don't look ahead, but um, big game next week, senior day. Uh, how important or how <laughs> good does it feel that you guys are playing your best ball now? Yeah, um, you know, super excited for that game, just especially for these seniors. Um, you know, you look, you look at, you know, what our what our program is built on. It's built on the veterans and the guys that have come through this program. And um, you know, next week, I mean, right now we're playing for guys like Will Putnam um, and, and Brandon Spector, Brandon Spector and Brandon Spector who don't get to play. Obviously, Putt's playing, but um, but the guys that you know, this is there's the, next week's their last time in the valley. Um, and, and it flies by, and just you know, we're playing for them more than anything. Okay, with you guys wearing the purple uniforms today, Military Appreciation Day, what'd you feel about the purple uniforms and the meaning behind them? Yeah, I mean, super cool. I think that it's one of the coolest traditions that we do. Um, just getting on to them, and you know, there's there's so many people uh, connected to our team who who have served, and um, you know, I've got family who served, and. You know, it's it's just really cool that you kind of get to dedicate a true game to them. Um, just, you know, we get to go to a football game and smile and walk around. There's people kind of giving their lives for, for us to be able to do that. So um, just super special, and I'm glad we get to kind of honor them. What's it like to have Shipley and Moffitt both in the background of the same backfield at the same time? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. so fun to have Ship back. I mean, so fun. Uh, you know, it's awesome to kind of have him back. Uh, but just, you know, he's... he's He's incredible. You know, he's truly incredible. Just get the ball in his hands. He's going to do something special. So, you had a couple of bigger runs today. Did you just feel more comfortable running the ball kind of this week and even last week? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes they're just kind of dropping out of there um, and just kind of gave me opportunities to run it. And you know, felt good to kind of use my legs a little bit more. And um, but I mean, nothing that we really game plan. You know, just kind of make plays a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, awesome. Thanks. Appreciate y'all.